author. Are you struggling to get your book done? Well, if you are, the Worley Way might just be the thing you need. Don't know what that is? <laughs> Stick around, this author spotlight is for you. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad from Book Launchers. We're your professional self-publishing team helping you write, publish, and promote a nonfiction book that will help you have a huge impact on your readers and done right. We'll also help you grow your brand, build your business, and make you money. The best part? You, yes, you keep all rights and royalties. Today, I am so incredibly excited for you to meet Mr. Ron Worley, author of Ditches to Riches, how to survive your effed up life and create a kick-ass business. Ron is an absolute pleasure to work with and we've had a lot of fun pulling this video together for you. His book is an amazing read. Homeless, addicted, alone, Ron hit rock bottom, but then he climbed his way back up and into money, a successful business, and the feeling of fulfillment. And now he helps others do the same. Besides sharing his powerful story in his book, he covers the 10 values in his Worley way inside those pages. And he provides a really awesome foundation for anyone struggling to get out of their own way. And because so many authors are struggling to get their book done, I thought I'd ask Ron what his advice was for you to get out of your own way and get that book done. Please meet Ron Worley. Take it away, Ron. Let's say they want to write a book. Oh my gosh, I want to write a book. Sounds easy. I'll just sit down and start typing. Sounds really easy. I can do it, right? To get from there over to success is not a straight line. We have to go through this area here. And a lot of people, they start to find out that there's a lot of work involved. And generally, once they see, start to see a lot of work involved, they start to want to quit. They don't have the time. They make excuses. It's just too hard. Maybe they don't even know how to write a book. So... Uh, they tend to just peter out, they quit. At some point, they're gonna get to a point where they say, I can't do it. Uh, and most people, most non-entrepreneurial people live in that space. Oh, that looks easy, I can't do it. Oh, that looks easy, I can't do it. And they spend a lifetime of going back and forth. Let's, let's call it the book, for instance. If you wanna write a book, um, make a set time every week to sit down and write on your book. Uh, for me, it was a half hour a week to start. I could only furnish enough time to do a half hour. So I hired somebody to coach me along in the process. And he came along and showed me how to make a plot, uh, design the book from front to back, each chapter in between, uh, what the topics were going to be. He helped me format the book so that I could sit down and type for a half hour a week. Because when you say I can't, is to just be in the do's of the process. So rather than thinking of the success of the book, think about bringing it all the way back down to this half hour. I have to schedule a half hour a week to do this. Okay, anybody can do a half hour a week. So now what do I gotta do every day to make this book happen? Do I have to schedule myself so that I can make this half hour free? Do I have to hire somebody? What do I have to do today to make this successful? Ultimately, that focus on one thing a day or even one or two hours a week that Ron's talking about and just doing that over and over again gets you into that I can zone and creates massive success. It's all about creating momentum and his worldly way values build on that in his book. He speaks to his values and straight from his book, he actually says this about hard work. I will make my story one of success because I shape my life the way I choose through relentless effort and hard work. What I lack in talent and smarts, I will make up for with wisdom and hard work. Hard work is vital to the success of your book. And so is getting the right help, which he also did by working with an author friend in the early phases and then hiring book launchers. And because he's had early success with his book already, I asked him to share with you what worked well for him. And he shared this. I went out and got a book army put together um, I think I only had 150 people on my book, book army list and those I had roughly 600 on my Facebook book army. Uh, but out of that, I, I maybe got six or eight reviews right off the bat. Maybe I did hand out a hundred free books through Goodreads and book launchers helped me do that. Uh, and I believe I'll get some reviews out of that. Uh, but really what's been my main focus is social media. That's where I've sold the most books. Um, book launchers helped me get some stuff put together for that, but really it was the small circle of friends on Facebook and 
uh, Instagram that sold the first few. Something else that worked is I keep them in my office. I keep them in my truck. I talk to all my clients and all the people I meet throughout the day about my book. I find a way to bring it up and that allows me to sign the book as well. So hopefully once it's signed, they'll read it. Uh, something that book launchers has been doing that's been working well. I think I'm up to 10 or 11 podcasts now. Those are time consuming and um, stressful at times and wear me out. They have been fun. Uh, a lot of the podcast hosts are freaking awesome and they're a lot of fun to talk to. Uh, and it gives you a chance to sell your book uh, by telling them a little bit about what's in it and what your methodology is uh, in writing the book. Uh, which has really been helpful to me. Book launching with book launchers is a team sport and we don't create success alone. So his work to activate and engage his book army is so important. But I really wanted to highlight that point because I also think a lot of people get lost in thinking that they need a ton of people following them in order to achieve a good book launch. He had a relatively small book army that combined with our early efforts to get him exposure has led him to be edging well past 700 sales and we're only a few months post launch. That's pretty awesome. Now, this is a funny, as in rather odd question that I really wanted to ask Ron, but part of what we always talk about is getting a publishing company name to help make you look more like a traditionally published author. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a lot of you ask questions about how to choose your publishing imprint name. And I'll actually put a video about publishing imprints at the end of this video for you. But I just want to share Ron's story because it doesn't have to be this perfectly polished name. And in fact, if a wacky sort of name fits with your brand, then this one would work for you. Well, not his, he's already taken it. <laughs> but Ron, tell us about your publishing imprint name, please. So the, my publishing company's name is Jalapeno Meat Stick. And it's not even really a funny story, uh, but I do a little disc golfing with my buddies. And one of them had a jalapeno meat stick that she carried with her during while we were golfing. So if she got hungry, she could eat it. And I asked her what it was and she said it was a jalapeno meat stick. And I thought, wow, that's a clever uh, name to have for my golf name. Uh, when I go disc golfing, that's the name I use, jalapeno meat stick. Now, I'm a vegetarian, so maybe mine would have to be purple carrot press. <laughs> it may not be a fit for you and your business to be a little out there with yours, but you don't have to spend hundreds of hours figuring out the perfect name. Now, the question you have all asked for is what has been your experience working with book launchers and do you have advice for authors considering working with us or a similar type service? Let's hear what Ron has to say when I ask him that question. I've had a very good experience with book launchers. It's like drinking from a 55 gallon drum when you first start uh, the process with them. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of different people that you work with, but they're very communicative. They're willing to ask, answer any questions you may have. Um, and the process uh, is way easier than doing it yourself. I have a friend who is just self-publishing and he sold maybe 10 or 15 books now. It's because he didn't have all the insight on what to do. In fact, he's asking me for help. And I really don't know because book launchers did it for me. They take great pride in the books that they publish. And therefore, they're trying to make the best book that you can have out on the shelf. Okay. Truthfully, he said a whole bunch of other really nice things. So thank you, Ron. And he also shared that Sarah, our book marketing manager and her team are rushing it and landing him podcast interviews and summit appearance via Zoom, of course. So he's really excited to be working with us and continue working with us. But I kept it to the key points so you guys wouldn't have to see me blushing <laughs> excessively with pride over here. But I can't say this enough. We only succeed when our authors are working alongside us to create success together. It's a team sport and Ron is a fantastic team member. He works hard and he does his part to make sure his book is known by all in his network. Now, my personal favorite question is, what has been the favorite thing that's happened to you since you became an author? Are you curious what he says? I love this answer. I didn't plan on people actually taking notes, uh, calling me, asking questions, follow-up calls, uh, emails, people wanting to listen to it as if it's a gold standard. And, and it's not, I've always claimed it's, you know, I wrote this book as a non-expert. Um, this is just the story of my life and how I got from where I was completely homeless to successful. And, uh, but it's touching people's lives and it's motivating people. And that to me was a surprise. And anytime somebody asked me to sign a book, 
that's a total surprise. I can't figure out why anybody would want my signature, but it's totally cool. I've been, I've learned how to write notes in the front page um, to make them personal. And that's been a lot of fun. Oh, <laughs> the first few times I was asked to sign a book, I felt so awkward. <laughs> like, what pen do you use? What do you write? You, you actually want me to write on your pages. <laughs> it is a little bit of a weird feeling. So I like that he brought that up. He has one more really cool share that I could not leave out. His wife did not read the book before it was out. He wanted it to be raw and real and didn't want to feel like he was going to censor anything for her to read. So he did it without her reading it. But now that it's out, he's reading it to her. So let's hear what he has to say about that. But I've been reading chapters to her uh, when we get some alone time. And just to see her connection to me based off of me reading to her my story and some of the things. I mean, we've we've cried together because this is bringing up a lot of things for me. We've laughed um, together and it's just made us stronger in general. And I appreciate that. That's been something I didn't see coming. Freaking cool is that? That gave me all the feels. Thank you, Ron. You are such a wonderful part of the Book Launchers family. Please join me in giving Ron a huge thank you for sharing his book process and experience with you. Smash that thumbs up button. Stop, 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 pop, pop, yep. <laughs> Smash that thumbs up button. Go ahead and try it. It feels so good. <laughs> and let's chat about what you learned in this video in the comments below. And when you comment the day a video is released, you'll be entered to win some sweet Hashtag no boring book swag. We have new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Make sure you catch everyone by subscribing to the channel and turning those notifications on. You are a delight to hang out with. Would you like to hang out a little bit more? <laughs> That's great, because I have two really, really fantastic videos that I think you really want to see. This one right here is on publishing imprints. So if you're wondering how to get your own version of Jalapeno Meat Stick, publishing company, click here. And if you want to learn about activating your book army, that's this video right here. So go ahead, click on the one that you want to watch. I'm waiting for you.